Good morning, Parish Hill. Today is Friday, February 26th, 2021. Finally, the end of the week. I'm Miles. And I'm Greta. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Find life experiences and swallow them whole. Travel, meet many people. Exhaust yourself in the glorious pursuit of life. Lawrence K. Fitch. Happy early birthday to Ralph Emerson Martin. Today is a Friday schedule, so make sure you go to your advisory after D period instead of your E period class. Mr. Lemake's D period will go to the library today. Mr. Allard's advisory to Ms. Fontaine's room 117 and D period to Ms. Abby's room 143 and Mr. Evans' advisory in G period to the library. The PTA is pleased to announce that we have three students who won at the state level for the PTA Reflections Art Program. For middle school photography, Isabella Whitehouse got fourth place. For high school photography, Jack Boucher got second place. And for middle school visual arts, Fiona Hill got first place in the state. First place winners will get a plaque and will move on to the national level to compete. Uh, second through fourth place winners will receive medals. If any staff or student would like to send Ms. Tart a note or card wishing her the best in her retirement, please bring them to Mr. Flager in Student Services by Friday, February 26, which is today, when they will be hand-delivered to her. Juniors interested in running for Class of 2022 officers can pick up candidate forms in Mr. Yo's room, room 127. Forms need to be completed today, February 26, and turned into Mr. Yo or Mr. Tracy, but I don't think it's here. <laughs> Um, if you registered for the Connecticut Junior Science and Humanities Symposium, stop by room 140 or email Ms. Slinger to confirm that you're attending. Parish Hill is celebrating Women's History Month this March, and we would like you to also share your stories about the women in your lives, whether it be your mom, your sister, your aunt, your grandma, or perhaps a female figure outside of your immediate family who made an impact on your life, say a teacher, a mentor, a celebrity, or someone else. We would like you to share those stories in a 15 to 30 second segment. We will feature your segments on the news. We look forward to seeing your stories, Pirates. It is the last day of our school Black History Month, so here's a story of an abolitionist in history from our own home state of Connecticut. Theodore Dwight Weld was born in Hampton, Connecticut on November 3rd in 1803, and he, along with his wife and her sister, produced the book American Slavery As It Is. When he was young, an African-American boy in a school was segregated and racially discriminated against. And that encouraged him to um, become an abolitionist and fight against slavery and fight for freedom. Uh, here we have Jason with Sports News. Hello, Parish Hill. Good afternoon and morning, whatever it is. For sports, there will be an organizational meeting for the high school girls interested in playing softball on Thursday, March 4th at 2.30 in the cafeteria. Interested players should go see Mr. Black for details. Also, there is no middle school girls basketball practice today. The middle school basketball team will practice from 2.30 to 3.30 today, and the high school girls team will practice from 3.30 to 4.30 today. The high school boys basketball team tonight plays MLC. Report time for players is no earlier than 4.35. And on our news YouTube channel, will we be live streaming the match tonight at 5.30? Y'all should watch. It'll be a great one. And that is all pretty much for sports. Miles, what is for lunch? I'm going to be starving. For lunch today, we have Sloppy Joe on a roll with corn and food of the day. Greta, what's the weather like today? The weather today will be quite nice with a high of 41 and a low of 27. While it may not be the warmest day of the week, it is going to be sunny. We can expect a lot of rain this weekend, but it still will be warm. Um, trivia? No? The bell rang, so probably not. <laughs> um, we have our phone set up, so next week, expect trivia, hopefully. Uh, that's all we have for you today. Have a great weekend. Okay, here you can pay a shell.